police in Scotland received nearly 4,000 complaints within the first 24 hours of the new hate crime laws being brought into place. That, of course, came in on Monday. And there were some very, uh, there were some very, very prominent examples of people, not least the author J.K. Rowling, daring the Scottish police to arrest her for perceived breaches of these new laws. Yes, she did. She very much dared the police to arrest her. Come, come to me with the handcuffs. And she says she will defend any woman who is caught up with the police or the police choose to go after them. She'll defend low profile women who may be caught out misgendering someone. Because that could be a crime in Scotland. Of course, yesterday we learned that the police said they would not be going after JK Rowling for uh, the tweets that she made. But what the police have yet to answer is, although they've said this will not be registered as a crime, will not be further investigated as a crime, of course, everything must be investigated now under this law, what they haven't said is whether or not this was logged as a non-crime hate incident. Yes. We don't know yet if it's been logged as a non-crime hate incident, which is that rather Orwellian uh, thing. But this is Murdo Fraser here who we're going to be speaking to. She says, he says, so I hear that Police Scotland are not responding to journalists' requests as to whether the complaints against J.K. Rowling are recorded as non-crime hate incidents in line with their unlawful policy, he says. Why so coy? Police Scotland. Hmm. Well, why so coy? Let's speak to the uh, senior uh, Scottish Conservative politician, the member of the Scottish Parliament, Murdo Fraser, who joins us now. Murdo, uh, you, of course, yourself have run into uh, some of these bizarre non-crime hate incident logs before. Why do you think Police Scotland are not revealing what has happened in this instance? Well, potentially, I suspect, because it's very embarrassing for them. And just as they don't want to take on a figure as high profile and as wealthy as uh, J.K. Rowling, um, in relation to, to, to things she's posted on social media, deliberately you know, provocative messages she's put on social media in relation to uh, the gender issue, uh, I think they're, they're nervous about now confirming that they are complying with their own policy, which was applied in my case in relation to something I posted back in November that was critical of Scottish government gender policies. And I find it very strange that they are not prepared to confirm publicly that they're applying their own policy. But there's another twist to this that perhaps is even more interesting, because it's not just J.K. Rowling who's been subject to complaints by members of the public under the Hate Crime Act. The First Minister, Hamza Youssef, has also had complaints against him uh, in relation to a speech he made in Parliament back in 2020, which some people have claimed was stirring up race hatred. Now, that's not my view, and the police have said, in his case, there was no criminality. However, if the police are applying the policy that applied to me, those complaints need to be logged as non-crime hate incidents. Otherwise, the police are taking a different view uh, in relation to an opposition politician compared to the one they're taking in relation to an SNP First mm. Minister. And that really would not be tenable. So we could end up in the situation where Police Scotland are recording a statement of the First Minister of Scotland as being a hate incident. This is... Alice through the looking glass stuff is just totally bizarre and shows what a confused mess this whole position has become. Really what a dinner is. party that would be. Murdo Fraser, J.K. Rowling and Hamza Youssef all on the non-crime hate incident roster. Yeah, well, Mur Murdo, I want to ask you about um, how this affects the people of Scotland more broadly. 3,800 complaints or thereabouts in 24 hours since these hate crime laws came into effect. That is quite incredible. Are the people of Scotland physically less safe as a result of these new laws? Since how much time is this going to take away from police resources when they could be fighting physical crimes, for example, violent crimes? Well, I think that is precisely the point, because if the police have had 4,000 or close on 4,000 complaints in 48 hours. They have said they will investigate each and every one. That must be taking up a huge amount of police time uh, and resource. 
And this is at a time when Police Scotland told us just a few weeks ago they don't have the resources to investigate uh, minor crimes where there might be a lack of sufficiency of evidence. So already police numbers in Scotland are down. The police are struggling for resources. They can't investigate uh, minor crimes. And here they are deluged with a whole new set of crimes or alleged crimes that they've said they're going to prioritise. That's not what people in Scotland want to see from their police force. They want to see the police tackling real crimes, not what people like GK Rowling are saying on social media. No. And uh, our reporter was out about out and about in Glasgow yesterday asking the public. He couldn't find one person one. who agreed with this law. And someone said, I want to get a T-shirt saying, what do you think? That's the scariest question in Scotland or a question you're not allowed to be asked anyway. Yes, no, it was really, really striking. He really tried to get an opposing view and couldn't find one. Murdo Fraser, thank you very much for joining us.